Now I'm gonna go in with a white eyeliner. Eyeliner. I feel like I look like a starburst right now at this moment in time. Really, really like bam in your face. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a another video. So today I just wanted to sit down and I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I'm actually struggling like in lockdown to actually think of things or ideas that I want to do on my channel. I just feel like I'm lacking like inspiration as anybody would during lockdown. So what I thought I'd just do is just experiment with makeup and again just like test out old makeup that I haven't used for a very very long time and just give other makeup that I haven't actually used um, properly another go. So I know I used this palette in my previous video um, but I haven't actually used it at all that much on my channel. I've probably used it about two times. So this top that I've actually put on today has actually inspired me to do like a really really bright coloured um, eye look and I think I'm gonna go with something like an orangey pinky look I have not practiced this look at all and yeah I just don't know how it's gonna turn out as you can see they're really really bright colors in this palette so I just wanted to like incorporate something pinky and maybe some of the yellow orangey tones as well and I'm sorry that my videos have been a little bit all over the place the past two weeks I have actually been trying to work out a new background just because my walls behind me aren't like a pure white and when I've been watching my YouTube videos back I ain't actually happy with the lighting it's not very very bright at all and yeah I just thought it was a little bit plain so I thought I'd buy uh, a few fairy lights and put a few plants and greenery and just make it like really, really nice and fresh and bright. So hopefully it makes a difference to the videos and hopefully you like it as well. And yeah, let's just get into this video. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my Instagram page and let's get into this tutorial. Right, so as I said, I'm using the Zulu by Juvia's palette and I'm just going to be going straight in with the pink colour. As you can see, there's literally no transition colour in this palette at all. It's just very, very bright and very, very in your face, which I feel like I need to be experimenting with a lot more lately anyway, just because a lot of my um, makeup looks are very um, neutral and warm and just like a, not a lot of pop of colour and as I mentioned in my previous video I do really want to start incorporating some more bright looks into my YouTube feed and into my Instagram feed as well so I'm just going to go in with this bright pink look and yeah let's just see how it turns out So as you can see this is like a really really bright pink. The only thing I hate with this palette is it hasn't got like a mirror and obviously when I'm recording my mirror is like a lot further away than I usually would have it then when I'm usually doing my makeup off camera. So sometimes like I hate when palettes don't have a mirror in them. But yeah this is just literally going to be like a... Um, this is going to be acting as our transition shade today and I'm going to be putting it all in my crease into the inner corner and focusing it on the outer half of my lid as well. I've got to admit this pink shade is a lot more vibrant than the purple shade that I used in my previous video. If you have watched it, um, the purple, I was really, really scared about but it didn't seem to be that pigmented as I thought so it took a lot of building up but this pink seems to be like really really bright but it's really really easy to work with as well right so that's the pink done i did go a little bit higher than i wanted to because i do want to kind of try and incorporate the orange in this look and yeah as i said i don't know what i'm doing with this look i'm just going with the flow so i'm going to go in with that bright orange look and i'm just going to like try and blend out the edges but also like try and make the color pop a little bit more i don't know how these colors are going to blend into that i don't even know what shade it is literally going to create I can't believe I'm going to put this bright orange on my lid. I feel like I look like a starburst right now at this moment in time. So as you can see, like the orange and the pink have like blended really, really nicely into one another. I thought I'd actually have to keep dipping back and back and forth like to blend these colours like really, really nicely together. But they've actually like melted together like really, really beautiful. My eyebrows are like really really bad like I really need to do them like ASAP because <laughs> they're like caterpillars at the moment they're like awful. I'm just going to go back in with the pink shade and just like put it back in between the orange and the pink just because even though they've um, melted like really really nicely together I just feel like we've lost a bit of that like vibrant pink. Just going to apply this more like on the outer half and like 
like move it into the inner half as well. Okay, then I'm just going to take like a clean fluffy brush and just like blend out the edges the way I always like if I don't use too many colours I'm like using like really really bright or really really dark colours I always go in with a clean brush to blend out the edges just because as you can see it like diffuses the edges like really really nicely so yeah if you're struggling like to blend out colours sometimes maybe just go in with a clean brush with no product on it at all and just like go over the edges as you can see Let's blend it out a lot better than this side. By the way, this top is from ASOS, if anyone's going to ask. Um, it was in the sale, I think. This necklace is also from ASOS. I can't actually remember where I got these earrings from. I think they were from somewhere abroad. I can't remember, but yeah, just thought all the colours like, kind of tied in together, if you get me. You know what I mean? Anyway, what do I want to do with the lid? I really wanted to use like a white eyeliner, but I don't know what to do with it. I don't know if to do like the full white liner. But then I'm thinking like lashes, it's going to look a little bit weird, so... Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I think I'm just going to kind of carve out the crease just a tiny little bit. And then I'm going to put a little bit of shimmer on and then I think I'm going to try and do like a white line going across. I don't know how that is going to work, I've never done anything like that, so I'm just going to carve the crease. Okay, well that took a lot longer than expected. Um, I've done a cut crease as best as I could, I've only done a half like cut crease. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blend the edges in with a bit of pink, nothing like too overboard. This is what you want to do when you do a crease cut, you just kind of want to blend in the edges with um, the shade you've previously used, just makes it look a lot more seamless that's all. Right, next for like the kind of shimmery lid, I'm going to go in with, I've only used this once again on my um, channel, is the Steve Laurent Rose Gold Loose Powder. I've used this once and it was absolutely stunning, but I used a little bit too much, so I'm not going to go in with as much as I did last time. It's like really, really loose. I can't even tell you. There you go. But it's like really, really loose and it's very, very pigmented. So I think I'm going to go in with my um, finger at first and then do the edges like with an edged brush. This shimmer shade is absolutely stunning. And then I'm just gonna like tap it in place just so it kind of blends in with the other shades. Right, I'm gonna go in with a white eyeliner and this is from Rimmel London and it is the 24 hour wear color precise eyeliner in the shade 003 white and it's just like really, really nice and slender. So I'm gonna attempt to do this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, but yeah, let's just give it a go. Okay, so that also took a lot longer than expected. I think that took me about seven, eight minutes. And it isn't the best eyeliner, I've got to admit. When I first brought it, it was really good. It seems like some eyeliners you can actually like pull the head out and then put it, turn it around and pull it either way because then there's loads of like um, eyeliner on the opposite side. But you can't even do that with the other side because the other side is just like a stub. Whereas the one side is like really, really pointy. So when you apply it onto your lid, it's like really, really pigmented at first. But then as you start like applying it over the colour it actually transfers the colour on to the end of the tip so it's not really the greatest because then the pink is just like going like across your eye so then what I had to do is press like the eyeliner pen in to my hand to um create more um of the white pigment so yeah it did take a couple of coats this one has gone a lot more better than this one but it doesn't really matter what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with some black eyeliner as well um just to kind of, you know, map it out a little bit more, make it a lot more crisp. Right, eyes are done and you know what, I absolutely love them. I've just applied my eyeliner off um, camera and also um, I've applied some lashes. I've just used the Isla Exaggeration lashes. I just wanted something like, you know, really shabam, like to go with the look and I really, really like it. It's definitely out of my comfort zone. I've never done anything like it before. So 
yeah I'm absolutely in love with it now for the um, face I'm looking a little bit oily because I have applied some cream so for the face I'm going to use like two different primers because I haven't used them for such a long time and it is the Urban Decay primers I used to absolutely love these ones so first of all I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay self adjusting complexion primer this adapts to your pigments it's also soft focus effect and it's showing control and then I always use apply this like in my t-zone area just because it does like get rid of my um okay it's probably a little bit too much <laughs> it does get rid of my redness um but it does like it does something to the skin tone like it really like just evens it out it's like really really nice primer i've also got a little bit of a tan because i was sitting in the garden when the weather was nice in the uk now it is absolutely horrible it's throwing it down and yeah it's just not for me at all so the next primer i'm going to go in with is also the optical illusion one i've used this one tons and tons and this is the complexion primer smoothing and it's also rose and argonal infused and it's also pore perfecting so i just apply this like again in the t-zone area but not like as wider as the other one i don't actually know how the foundation is gonna lie on my nose today because I did actually burn my nose the other week and it was peeling like really really bad so I don't know how that is going to apply but for foundation today it's also foundation that I haven't actually used for a very very long time it is the Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation by Maybelline and I'm using two different shades today I'll probably use more of this one because I'm a little bit on the tanner side so I'm going to be using number 10 ivory and number 0.5 light beige I'm going to go in with the brush first and then also blend it with a damp beauty blender I do actually vaguely remember this um foundation being very very full coverage um so I probably won't apply a lot. Actually, full coverage, but it feels like really, really runny. Maybe that's because I've had it for such a long time. Who knows? Okay, so that is the foundation done and you know what I've actually only used the darker shade because it's really like suits my skin tone like perfectly so this one would have been way too light and this was the this was a 10 ivory and this foundation is really really good I don't know why I stopped using it it wasn't as thick as actually I remembered maybe in the past I probably used a lot more than I actually should have but this is actually really really nice I didn't want a really full coverage like cakey um foundation look anyway today so you could definitely like build this up to actually what you wanted it to like be and how full coverage you wanted it to be but this foundation is actually like really really beautiful on my skin at the moment for concealer today i'm going to go in with the nyx can't stop won't stop um concealer in the shade light ivory now what i can remember um this dries down really really fast and how quick it dried down on my lid today um yeah it's really really quick drying so I'm going to do like a part of my face at the time just because I don't want to end up in a mess that I usually do end up in and I'm only going to put a bit on because it is a little bit light um so yeah I'm just going to blend that out with the damp beauty blender it's a lot lighter than I remember so I think I think I might actually have to go in with a dark concealer like over the top just a bit just to like calm the brightness down. I don't know if this concealer's actually got any in but I'm going to go in with the Fit Me Maybe Maybelline concealer in the shade number 10 and oh it's got a bit in actually and I'm just literally going to apply a little bit over the top of that just to like deepen it a little bit because that concealer is a little bit too bright. And then I'm just going to go in with the Fit Me concealer and the NYX underneath the eyes as well. But I'm going to use more of the dark one just because that NYX one is a little bit too light and it's like really really drying quickly and I don't really like the texture of it but I'm just going to use a little bit. Right so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Pressed Powder in the shade um, number 2 and can I just say my skin looks really really good at the moment. I don't know if it's that concealer, I mean not the concealer, I don't know if it's that foundation, I haven't used it for such a long time and I don't actually know why I stopped using it, it's really really nice and I'm just literally going to go in with a, a tiny tiny amount on the skin just because um, I do want to leave it like still 
not as like full coverage and not as cakey so I'm just going to literally go in a little bit underneath my lids as well not too much because obviously this powder is quite dark and I don't want it to you know darken the under eyes and then next after that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Too Faced um, loose powder and this is just in the shade translucent I absolutely love this powder and I'm just literally going to apply this where I usually would with my translucent powder so underneath my eyes, my t-zone section and things like that So literally what I do now is once that is all sat there just for a little while I go back in with my powder brush what I use my Charlotte Tilbury with and instead of sweeping I just dab. So you're not actually like wiping the product away, you're dabbing it into the skin, you're actually blending it in. Right I'm just going to finish off my under eyes and I'm just going to go in with the pink shade and the orange shade underneath just so it mirrors the top and I'm also going to go in with a little bit of that Steve Laurent um, loose powder as well. Oh, thanks. Sandwich. Sandwich. Thank you. Mmm. Mm. Right, so the eyes are done, and honestly, I'm absolutely loving them. Like, I'm really, really super happy with them. I think they look absolutely cool. Um, so anyway, to um, finish the face and just to continue with that, I'm going to go in with like a... It's new to me, but it's not new to my makeup drawer because it's been sitting there for a while. <laughs> but it is the Avon True Glow Bronzing Powder. Now, this has got a shimmer in it. I don't actually use, like, shimmer bronzers just because I don't know how they are actually going to turn out on my skin. Um, but I probably just use it, like, for the perimeter of my face just to give a nice glow. This is in the shade Warm Glow. that's like really really pretty it's very very subtle like the glow's not really really like bam in your face um but it's like really really nice why haven't i used this before i like the fact that it's not like too pigmented like you can build it up so i do really like that i hate bronzers like when you dip your brush in a little bit and it's like really really pigmented and like you can't really do anything with it right for blush out i'm gonna go in with the number seven blush out in the shade peach velvet i've used this a couple of times on my channel and it's like a really really cute peachy shade and i just thought it'd go really really nice with the eyes right i'm just gonna set my brows in place and i already do my brows off camera i always use the um Cabrow from Benefit and my shade is number three. Sometimes I like to set it with the Benefit Give Me Brow in shade number three, but my favourite brow setter at the moment is the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit as well, and it's just the clear gel. I absolutely love this stuff, like it's like super glue on your brows. So make your hairs look like natural hairs as well and more like fluffy. So next for highlighter, I'm gonna go in with one that I haven't used for a very, very long time. Sorry, I'm just watching my camera recorder down here because it keeps stopping recording for some reason really annoying um, i'm gonna go in with the jouer um highlighter and this is in the shade citron i used to absolutely love this and i think it used to be like well not used to be it was and it is pigmented i believe <laughs> so i'm just gonna apply this highlighter where i usually would yep there it is hello the only thing i don't like about this highlighter is the fact when you pick it on the brush it's very very powdery so like i feel like you have to tap a lot off but then i feel like i'm just wasting a lot of product then for lips i'm going to use a new lip liner that i haven't used before this come in glossy box and can i just say glossy box i received this month's glossy box and oh my god i was super excited i have to show it with jake and share it with jake because i have no one else to show it with at the moment so he's looking at me like i'm some kind of crazy woman like being really excited about all this new makeup that i've just like had in the post um but yeah, can I just say, this month is like really, really good. I was super happy with the things that actually arrived in the box this month. I'm not going to tell you what we got, just because in case you haven't received yours this month yet. But honestly, I'm absolutely loving it. This didn't receive, this didn't come in in this month. This came in like two or three months ago. And yeah, I just haven't used this one before. This is from the brand Scent Lux Beauty. And this is in the shade Cupid. It's just a pinky one, I believe. And I'm just going to line my lips. That lip liner is like really really creamy and goes on to your lips like really really good. 
It's a lot more pinker than I expected, but never mind. I'm going to go in with the MQ, MQ? MCO Beauty um, lipstick in the shade Flowers. I used this in my previous video. It was really, really nice and creamy as well. I'll probably have to go over a nude um, lip gloss over the top of it as well, but I'm just going to use it because I absolutely love it. And also, it's just because it's still sitting on my beauty desk from the last video. Yeah, it's a little bit too pink for this look, but I do like it, but um, I think I'm just going to apply a new lip gloss over the top. I'm just going to go in with the lip paints um, from L'Oreal, and this is in matte, uh, it's in the shade 210 Dead Lips Liquid Lipstick, and I'm just going to apply that over the top, just to kind of mute the colour, just a teeny weeny little bit. And then lastly, I'm just going to set my face in place using the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, and this is long lasting. I live by this stuff, so just going to spritz my face. So this is the end result. I'm just going to zoom you in and show you the eyes and how the skin looks. So these are like the eyes. I don't know if you can see like the white eyeliner. It's just like a little bit too um, dry. So it's like hasn't done like a really, really crisp line. But like that Steve Laurent pressed pigment is absolutely gorgeous. The eyeshadow blended out really, really nicely. And my skin is looking like really, really flawless. I don't know about you, but like that like foundation is like really really good and I'm not going to stop using it because it's absolutely beautiful. These is this is the lip color. Um yeah, I'm just happy with the overall look and I think it looks really really pretty. Right, so I don't know about you guys, but I'm absolutely loving this look. Like it was the best idea I could have done putting this top on because this top gave me the inspiration and I absolutely love the eyes. I haven't done anything exactly like this on my channel i've done a few bright looks but this is definitely out of my comfort zone and yeah i absolutely love it the pink lip is actually growing on me i think it looks really really nice with the look so yeah let me know what you guys think of this look and let me know if you're going to test it out and also let me know down in the comments down below what you want to see next on my channel i'm just kind of trying to think of new different things to do on my channel and different makeup looks but let me know if there's an exact video you want to see and what i haven't filmed um at all on my channel also make sure you go ahead and follow me on my instagram page it's just at jade vanessa mosley i'll leave my name in one of these corners so you can just go ahead and follow me on my instagram page i post daily on there and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up just so i know you enjoyed watching it so yeah just make sure you stay safe and keep yourself healthy hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video but until next time i love you all so much and yeah i'll catch you guys later bye